All right, guys, so we got the generator back on. This is, uh, it fired up on the second time. Had me worried there for a second, so I overloaded it on purpose just to see what it could do. So I had a four ton AC, I had uh, a dryer, and I had an oven, uh, amongst other things, refrigerator and some lights, and it killed it. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can do everything but the oven and see what it'll do here. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this again. Uh, this AC is what, uh, whoa, there it did it, right away. That's surprising. Uh, previously it took, it took about 10 minutes. So let's go, let's go in here and see if, uh, see if that did it. Let's go here and see if that did it. Man, it kicked right on. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Kicked right on. It says, please wait. There we go. Reading. Yeah, okay. Reading temperature. It's resetting. Sorry about the weight. 70, 74. Yeah. Cool. We got some rain coming in. I'm gonna have to shut this down pretty quick. So let's see what this will do. All right, AC furnace. Let's start with uh, garage plugs. There we go. We'll just turn it on, even though we're not gonna fire that up. Okay, there we go. We're rock and rolling, and we only got probably less than five minutes till this rain hits. We got everything on, good to go here. All right, let's go turn some stuff on. See what uh, see what we can do here. Put that on, put this on. So let's turn everything on except for the dryer. Let's see if we can't get this. Uh, So it's, um, yep. outdoor lights on. So it's, I got I mean, that's everything, man. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take the TV on. This thing's a hoss, man. I got it set to 70, 74, got the lights on. I mean, this thing's a ready to rock and roll. I mean, you know, most lights on, let's see. I mean, you can hear it just outside that window. So, yeah, I mean, it'll do it. That's it, man. So everything but the dryer and the oven. Um, and that's doing it, man. That's a pretty good load. Kids that uh, have my electrician hook up. Big question is going to be if we can get that. Uh, going to be if we can get that that propane to do uh, you know even close to that. As you can see the, the house lights on me back here. There we go, right there. The big question is going to be if we can get 
See if I can do it with the propane. I don't know if I'm gonna beat the rain. I don't know if you can see it. It's it's getting pretty nasty behind me. So we just, as I was testing this, we just had uh, a neighbor sent me on the on the group chat a uh, an article from from Texas in ERCOT. Here we go again uh, about Abbott asking us to keep our ACs at 78 because uh, ERCOT's getting ready to get overloaded this week. So this is the week of uh, June 13th, so uh, 2021. Uh, 2021's off to a fantastic start. So. Uh, but as you can see, I got my preps ready. Um, you know, for the most part, here, got some gas, got some uh, stabilizer here, ready to go, man. I got me some propane, extra oil. After a couple hours running the generator, probably five or six, I'm gonna run. Uh, I'm gonna run some full synthetic in it. Um, but man, it's doing it's doing great so far. Excuse the dryer. That's got a date with some tanner. Um, yeah, that's about it, man. Uh, I'm I'm pretty excited. That that Westinghouse is a is a beast, man. It's an absolute hoss. So I'm looking at raindrops, guys. That's going to be it. You can see what it does. Again, the house is about 2,600 square feet, uh, newer home, and uh, with a four-ton AC, that's the big thing. So that that AC did uh, uh, took quite a bit of, of power. I do have a uh, hard start kit on it. It's like 20, 30 bucks uh, from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. That's helping, whether it's five percent or five up, five hundred percent. I'm not sure. Uh, either way, um, yeah, that was a cheap, cheap install, and uh, you know I'm sure that's helped have my electrician install that while he was out here. Anyway, I'm gonna beat the rain. I hope that helps some of you guys. I'm out. Later.